Hey YouTube. It's Cut the Mustard. How are you? I hope everything's wonderful for you. Um, it is um, Saturday. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah. Um, the topic of the week is um, where you were, where you are now, and where you want to be. And I actually remembered it as I was thinking in my mind. Um, who you were, who you are, and who you want to be. And I was like, no, that's not it. It's where you were, like with your food situation. Um, but then I thought, you know, there's not really much difference between who I am, who I was, and who I, where, who I want to be, and where I was. Um, because I think my diet, my food, is not much different than how I handle that is not much different than who I am, I think. Um, it's kind of all intertwined, you know, and I think for me, who I used to be or what I, where I used to be is I used to compartmentalize and go, okay, this is me as a person, this is the, and I compartmentalize and go, this is, this is me, how I eat, this is how I want to eat, or this is, you know, like this separate part of me, and I would segregate out and go, oh, I'm overweight, oh, I need to do something about it in a separate part, but where I am now is I'm just making more healthy choices, and some of them are permanent, some of them I'm working on. Some of them I'm not having to work on so much anymore. Um, and I, who I was and where I was is I was afraid. I was afraid and I was felt stuck. And where I am now is I have a lot more freedom, a lot more joy, um, and uh, a lot more confidence in who I am, where I'm at. Um, and uh, the trend is a downward trend, um, but I am still where I want to be is... Um, even more so, listening to my body even more, and not compartmentalizing and separating out these aspects of myself, but kind of being one whole person, you know, assimilated. And by that I mean that um, I want to be in my skin. I want to be aware of myself. I want to be um, accepting of myself and um, love myself. And in that way, I want to love myself in the area of eating and but still love myself right where I am because I can't um, you know I don't respond well if I tell myself I'll be more acceptable to me or to the world if I'm different than I am now I have to be forgiving and then I have to be real with myself and say okay you know here's where I want to go here so where I want to be is to be more even more I guess authentic organic you know um, as a person and really be aware of the barometer inside me instead of the world around me. Um, and the more I do that, the more that my, my lifestyle reflects, um, the more the scale reflects and more my lifestyle reflects um, what I want to be in my heart. I want my insides and my outsides to match. And so that includes, you know, my vision of myself, you know, is not an overweight person. And so that's kind of being brought together and I know that all sounds nebulous but I think uh, I just want to be where I want to go is be more self-honest and I'm more honest than I was I'm less in fear than I was and I want to be more so that way so um, um, thanks for letting me share and I hope that um, I just hope that your you can follow your dreams and we can all follow our dreams even though our path may be different our dreams are just to come to who we are and that our insides and our outsides match, um, I think. Um, even if that reflects on the scale or a pant size, we want to feel comfortable in our body. So, thanks for letting me share. Um, by the way, I'm in my bathroom and I took a Spanish class. And um, this is, I had to write the word for mirror in Spanish on my, on my mirror. El espejo. Yeah, thought I'd share that. Have a great week. Bye, YouTube.